Next, we're going to discuss shooting and kicking in general. This is the first time that I teach a technical one-on-one -on -one soccer skill. It's critical that you teach your players how to kick with their shoelaces and not their toes. In soccer, this is called the instep drive. I show them their toes, and I explain to them that in soccer, we don't want to kick the ball with our toe. I point out their shoelaces, and then I show them a proper shoelace kick. The easiest way to teach this is through the placement of the non-shooting foot. If the non-shooting foot is placed well behind the ball, as the kicking leg comes forward, the toe naturally leads. But if you place the non-shooting foot directly next to the ball, then the knee naturally comes over the ball, the toe points down, and the ball is struck properly with the shoelaces. You must take the time one-on-one -on -one to teach this skill to all your players as early as possible. For some kids, you will have to physically place their feet in the right position and support them to help them learn how to do it in the beginning. If you have a lot of parents that like to help, break up your kids into very small groups and have them all work on it at different goals for a few minutes. Once you have taught the proper shoelace kick, they'll have lots of opportunities in other practice games to use it. When they do it right, it feels yeah, good and it cool sounds practice. good. Point that out all to right, the kids, and when you see them do a good one, call out to everyone, great shoelace kick. <laughs> Watch Brett in these clips as he kicks with his left foot and his right foot at age three. If you have enough parent helpers, break up your players into small groups of two kids per parent. Then you can use a game I call one-two kick. They sometimes